Hi, and welcome back to Focal Point AFR Talk. Jeffrey, let me know that we've got the phone number and the email address for the Boy Scouts up on the Focal Point Facebook page. So go to your Facebook page. Just put in Focal Point if you haven't been there, and it'll pop right up, and we've got right toward the top of the page there the contact information for the Boy Scouts if you would like to call them. My name, by the way, is Brian Fisher. The program is Focal Point Network is AFR Talk. Uh, one number we've got there, in fact, I'm going to give you a couple of extra numbers. We've got a number on the Focal Point Facebook site. Buster Wilson, who is general manager here, uh, sent a couple of additional phone numbers in because we've had people calling us. I'm going to have a tough time getting through. Phone lines are jammed, so we want to burn up their phone lines. We want to burn up their Internet cables. Uh, we want to burn up their Wi-Fi signal at the Boy Scouts to let them know that we want them to stand tall. So the area code there is 972. I'm going to give you two different phone numbers. 972 is the area code. Get ready to write. This will be in addition to the one that's on the website. Now, Jeff, I've got 580 on the website. Uh, I've got 590 on the sheet in front of me. Do we know which of those is correct? Okay, we'll check. But here's the phone numbers I've got. The area code 972-590-2000 is one number you can call. 590-2000. Or you can call 580-7848. So those are the two numbers you can call. Again, area code is 972. The first number, 590-2000. Second number, 580-7848. 580-7848. Again, area code 972. So call the first number, the 590-2000 number. That doesn't work. Uh, call them right back on the 580-7848 number. Also, we've got the email address of the spokesperson. We've got an email address on the, the Focal Point uh, Facebook page. Here's a second email address you can use. The spokesman for the Boy Scouts is Deron Smith. That's D-E-R-O-N, Deron Smith. And his email address is Smith. So Deron, D-E-R-O-N, dot Smith at scouting.org, scouting like in Boy Scouts, scouting.org, Duran Smith at scouting.org. And uh, we'd love if you get through to them, if you have some interaction with anybody at the Boy Scouts, if you would call in and let us know how that interaction went. The number is 888-589-8840, 888-589-8840. Forgot to mention this, by the way, that Warren Cole Smith, who was our guest, is actually a vice president of World New Group. So he's not just a journalist for them, an award-winning journalist. He's the vice president of World, a frequent contributor to their magazine. He's also the author of a book, A Lover's Quarrel with the Evangelical uh, Church. Excellent uh, writer, uh, vice president of World New Group. So that was Warren Cole Smith. Also, I'm told it was his birthday today. I'm sorry we missed, uh, didn't find that out in time to actually wish him a birthday on the program. So... It's 972-580-2000. Okay, so we've got three numbers now for you. The one that's up on the, the focal point page, uh, the Facebook page, is correct. we got a number there, 972-580-2000. We also have 590-2000. Are you saying, Jeff, that the 590 might not be the right prefix? The one that's on our Facebook page is the one on off their website okay i wonder this could be so uh anyway it could be five nine zero two thousand it could be five eight zero uh two thousand we may have had a typo on the prefix anyway the one on the focal point facebook page will work it is correct nine seven two five eight zero two thousand give them a call and let us know how all of that went triple eight five eight nine eight eight four zero we would like to hear from you about this whole uh scouting uh mess and what your reaction to uh, all of that is now, the column, and I want to just follow up with a little bit of what the Boy Scouts have meant to, to the United States. You know, as, as Warren mentioned, right now there are 3 million involved in the scouting program as participants or as leaders. Last year, 2011, 51,000 boys attained the Eagle rank. Two million of those have attained the Eagle rank over the 112-year history of scouting, and Warren mentioned some of the men who rose to prominence in our culture and our society who had an eagle rank in their background. You got Gerald Ford, 
Senator Thad Cochran from the state of Mississippi is, was an Eagle Scout. Senator Mike Lee from Utah. Senator Jeff Sessions from uh, Alabama. Representative Chris Smith, one of the lions in the pro-life movement on the Capitol Hill. Senator Pat Toomey from Pennsylvania. All were Eagle Scouts along with billionaire Ross Perot and Mike Rowe. If you like the TV show Dirty Jobs, well, Mike Rowe, I think he also does the truck ad, doesn't he? Uh, he is a former Eagle Scout. Sam Walton. Of, of Walmart and Sam's Clubs. He was a former uh, Eagle Scout. And these Eagle Scouts, when they do a project, it's a 100-hour a service project. That means that last year they contributed 9 million hours of volunteer service projects. And these are service projects that contribute to a community. They've got to contribute something to the community, make the life of that community better. 9 million Hours. That's 4,500 people working full time for an entire year uh, simply as uh, volunteers. Uh, so the, the, the loss to America, if this organization goes down, would just virtually be uh, incalculable. And as I mentioned, I've got a column up at rightlyconcerned.com. The title of the piece is Jerry Sandusky as the new poster boy for scouting, because that's what we're talking about. Jerry Sandusky, remember, he's the one that abused. He was a pedophile, uh, a homosexual pedophile. I mean, he was married in his adult life, but he was sexually attracted to same-sex partners of a young age. Uh, so he was a pedophile, homosexual pedophile. And you just you think of the Boy Scouts, if they change the policy, just let the image of Jerry Sand, just let his face come to your mind. That's going to be the face of the Boy Scouts. If they surrender on this, it's a suicide pact if they do this. Now, I believe they've already changed their mind. I think they've made up their mind on this. Number to call, by the way, if you want to weigh in on this Boy Scout issue, 888 I believe the Boy Scouts have made up their mind on this. They're trying to kind of ease America into accepting this change. There's no way they would have sent out an email or a, a release that that's incendiary, that inflammatory, unless they were intending to uh, hold that course. Because they had to know it was going to trigger a firestorm. They wouldn't have lit the match unless their course had been set. And maybe it's possible to pull them back from the brink. I hope it is, but it's going to take an immediate, forceful, aggressive, and sustained response from every American of goodwill. That's why I urge you to take action on that action alert when you uh, receive it. Because I think if the scouts go this direction, they're going to burn their house down right around their ears. Because the fathers of America, the parents of America, are simply not going to stand for this. I mean, there's no responsible father now who cares about the well-rounded development, including the moral and character development of his son, who will ever entrust his son to the Boy Scouts again. They will have written their own uh, epitaph. And as I mentioned, talking to Warren, this is going to isolate one scout troop from the other. They may be allowed to set their own policies for their own scout troop, but what if the scout troop with whom they're used to doing projects or going on camping expeditions or whatever – adopts a policy that they are just fine with homosexual scout leaders. Well, there goes the end of that cooperation. They're not going to be able to participate in regional events. I mean, what responsible father is going to send his child off to a camp where he has no idea about the sexual preference of the male leaders that are going to be providing some kind of supervision uh, for his son? And we know, I won't go through the details, I've spelled it out in the, in the column, but we know that homosexuals offend against children at exaggerated rates. This is an established fact in social research. Homosexuals offend against children at exaggerated rates. You can ask the Roman Catholic Church uh, all about that. But the rate of offense, homosexuals offend against children at 10 times the rate that heterosexuals do. Let me repeat that. Homosexuals offend against children at 10 times the rate that heterosexuals do. There's an inherent risk here in placing young males in their charge. And you think about it for a minute. Tim Wildman was the first one to, to, to draw this analogy, our president. But, but, but think, uh, would you send your 14-year-old daughter on a jamboree on a weekend camping trip if she was going to have a 25-year-old male sleeping in the same tent with her and her 14-year-old friends, would you think that would be a good idea? Would that be smart? No, there's no way in the world. Well, if you have homosexuals 
sleeping in the same tent. Somebody told me that the scoutmasters actually don't sleep in the tents, but the tents are up. The boys are there. The scoutmasters are there. A lot of opportunity for um, for risky business in a situation like that. But but that's the same reason we don't want homosexuals sleeping in the same tent, being around in the proximity with young boys for the same reason, because of the possibility of sexual attraction and sexual misconduct. It would just be insanity for the scouts to capitulate uh, on uh, this one. Now, I guess the 590 number is not correct. I was giving you the 590 number. It's 580. The prefix is 580. So we've got that correct. Let's grab a phone call before the break. Let's go to Orban in Ban, Texas. Uh, Orban, welcome to Focal Point. What's on your mind? Thank you, Brian, for taking my call. The number is 903-580-2000. It does work because I did call the National Scouting Place there in Irving. Okay, and, and what happened when you got through to them? They did take my call, and they recorded it. And I want to just tell you a little bit about the background of myself. Is I'm a Eagle Scout. Once you're an Eagle, you're always an Eagle, just like a Marine. My dad it was a Scoutmaster. I'm a second-generation Scoutmaster. Brian, I know for a fact working with you for a big part of my life from here to Alaska in the scouting program and at Pleasant Hills Children's Home in Fairfield, Texas, I know there's problems that arise when there is the possibility of homosexuals being in a leadership role. I'm going to try to encourage everyone out there to call their friends and call them, flood their lines, let them know that they're opposed. The Boy Scouts of America, since Lord Baden-Powell started it 102 years ago, has been opposed to this. And it's just like the uh, nowadays people are afraid to say the word gay, where it used to be a beautiful word. Now the Boy Scouts of America, they're trying to change the oath where it says, you know, in the oath it does say morally Great. And, and Orban, I, I'm sorry, I got I got to interject here. I got to let you go. We're coming up against a hard break, but Orban's make, making a great point. From now on, men will be allowed to be morally bent, not morally straight, but morally bent, participate in scouting. Focal Point AFR Talk, back in two minutes. Stay with us.